Welcome to another day in the life with Professor V, summer edition. So I woke up before my alarm at 5 a.m. and had a glass of water and then here I am making coffee. I don't set the coffee pot on a timer anymore because I like to wait about 30 minutes after I drink water to start drinking coffee, give my body a chance to rehydrate and all that good stuff. Plus I haven't been waking up at a consistent time lately. Sometimes it's five, sometimes it's six. And then while I wait for my coffee to brew, I start prepping for class later in the day. I also get caught up on grading, and that's when I finish off prepping for whatever YouTube video I might wanna record in the next coming days. So my morning time is my quiet time, it's my me time. It's when I do my best thinking. That's when my brain is firing full cylinders, oddly enough. So then. I go into the office slash gym. You see how the Peloton's in the corner. This is actually my husband's desk. He works from home a few days of the week. And I like to record in here really early before any of my neighbors are awake or even before my husband's awake. That way it's nice and quiet. Put my phone on do not disturb because I don't want to get any phone calls in the middle of recording a video. And I just get to work. It's usually pretty quiet in here and I can focus and I have all my materials laid out. So I was gonna record a video for my Calculus 3 class actually. And then after that, I wait for it to upload and I change my clothes, hop on the Peloton. In the meantime, my husband has woken up and he's actually on a little conference call over there, but don't worry, I'm off camera. And I love Kendall. I'm sad she left Peloton, but I'm happy for her. And as long as they leave her rides for me to do, I'm thrilled. I love working out at home, honestly. And then after that, I make myself a little protein smoothie. I've shown these Premier Protein shakes before. My favorite flavor is peanut butter chocolate, but we were out. Just add whatever frozen fruit you want, blend it up, and it's so tasty. And it also doesn't sit too heavy because I always have them before I go to hot yoga and I don't want too much in my stomach. So I like to wear shorts because I get ridiculously sweaty. <laughs> the yoga class is heated to over 100 degrees, but that's how I like it. And then I need a sweat towel, towel for my yoga mat, beach towel for after, Gatorade Zero and ice water in my Stanley. Class was done, it was fabulous. My favorite teacher kept it nice and roasty toasty. That's exactly how I like it. And then I showered, made myself lunch, just a turkey sandwich, and I love these whole pepperoncinis. I just bite into them and let the juice spill on the sandwich, and Doritos can't go wrong. I washed my hair and got dressed for work, and even though it's summer, the classroom is so, so cold. So I have a sweater on, there's me with my clean hair, and my class, they actually took a test that day. Look at them. Some are stressed, some are excited. They knocked it out of the park, though. This is one of the best classes I've ever had. Teaching summer school, you usually get a really focused group of students, and these guys are just little machines. So when I got home, I started grading their exams right away. They took their tests on a Thursday. I like to hand them back as quickly as I can. I got it all done and handed back their exams on Monday. And here's a few of them. Don't worry, I asked them if I can share their work, and they said it's fine. And I'm not showing their names anyways, but they did such a beautiful job, and this was such a difficult exam. I couldn't be more proud. And then for dinner, my husband's grilling some chicken that we marinated, and I had other kebabs ready. He's like, oh, who's that? And then just goes about his business. I also made rice pilaf and a big green salad, and the dressing I just made myself, lemon, olive oil, seasoned salt and pepper. And here's the little lule kebabs that he grilled up already. I'm Armenian, and my husband's Mexican, so we cook a variety of yummy foods. And that's for dinner for tonight. And then I'm just gonna enjoy a glass of wine with my dinner and hopefully we get to go for a little walk. Bye.